Okay, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the controls for the UAV launch drone. Uh, go to controls and then in ground vehicles you go ahead and uh, go down to UAV launch. Bind your keys. You should now be able to toggle back and forth uh, when in ground vehicles toggle out and you should be in your UAV at that point. The next thing I want to talk about is uh, toggle view. Go to the aircraft setting go down to camera control and then click on toggle view and bind your key that you want the next thing I'd like to talk about is activate target point that's the little red square go to your controls uh, under aircraft under weaponry you're gonna scroll down till you hit activate target point bind those keys as you can see here I'm activating it and deactivating it I'll show you how to deactivate it shortly. Activate it. You can put the little red square on it if you want to, to activate it. Very helpful. Activated, deactivated, activated, there you go, activate lock on, Just a little snippet. To deactivate, you're going to go to the aircraft weaponry. Right under activate, you'll notice there is one that says deactivate target point. Bind those keys. Now you should be able to activate and deactivate. On the larger drone, the settings work the same as on the smaller drone. With the exception of two things, you can add night vision and I'm also going to show you how to fire the air to ground missile. Now I'm going to be showing you the control setup for the night vision mode. Go to controls menu and switch night vision mode. Bind those keys. At this point you should be able to go into night vision mode. Zooming in, activated, zooming in. Notice the bottom right side, there is a number 8000, that's the range in kilometers. And if you notice the caps, uh, we're a little too far. 
So as we get closer, we'll be able to tell our range from the caps. Just showing you what it can do to zoom in, zoom out. This is actual live game play right now that I was playing. Learning on it. Here's a little trick that I found was useful. You will notice there's a little crosshair inside of a little box. That little crosshair has to be in the box in order for the air to ground missiles to fire. If they are out of that box, they will not fire. Something I learned. As you can see, I'm locked on. I already fired. It's traveling right now. There it is. Notice the crosshair is not in the box. It will not fire. As I move it up, I can fire. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to fire air-to-ground missiles. Go to weaponry, and then you're going to want to go down until you hit fire air-to-ground missile. Bind those keys. I just spawned in, and this is one of my first games with this drone. And... As I learned, my little crosshair was not in my little box, so I was not able to shoot. So what I will need to do is do another run. I'm going to head out. Slowly turn around. Come back. Yep, there's a target right there. Still again, not in the box. My little crosshair was not in the box, so it would not shoot. Here's another little tip. Click on your activate target point. Keep your drone at a little angle. And you should be able to find your target, lock on it, and fire your missile at that point. The little square is in the box. Gonna do another turn right here. Gonna go out a little bit. As I'm doing that, I'm looking to see if I see any moving targets. Don't really see much. Look like they got the A cap, B cap, and C cap. Most of my team is gone. Gonna go ahead and turn around right here. Again, 
I'm clicking green, the little green circle, activating my target point. Clicking where I think it needs to be. Still looking around. Looking for some movement. There's some movement. There he is. Activate and fire. Well, that's it. Hopefully y'all enjoy this uh, quick tutorial I made very quickly. Um, just wanted to show everyone how to work the small drone and the large drone. Hope this helps. Oh yeah, watch out for those pesky gepards. 